Okay, today we have a Club Car electric 48-volt uh, golf cart, and we're gonna be installing this speed uh, magnet. So right now we're getting about 15 miles, uh, give or take, uh, 14 miles per hour at top speed. So we're gonna replace it with the stock sen uh, magnet sensor with this high speed, supposedly one. And you see there's four notches on this one, and we're gonna make sure that's on the outer side where the magnet's, magnet's gonna be. So where your speed sensor is at, uh, make sure your golf cart is unplugged, or uh, not unplugged, but turned off with the key. This is your speed sensor that goes down to this side over here, and there's gonna be two bolts, one at the top and bottom, and you're gonna use a uh, 5 16 inch wrench to loosen it, and then we're gonna be able to see something very similar to this that's gonna have a bolt on it, and we're gonna remove that, put this on it, and then put everything back together, and let's do a test run and see how much more speed do we get out of it. So we have the top one already removed, and we have to get underneath to get the the bottom one. So we just need to wrench this off, and then we can get to our speed sensor. So I have it loosen now, so I can go ahead and use my fingers to unscrew the rest. All right, so we have our speed sensor off, and you can now see a magnet very similar to the one we have, and we're gonna go ahead and now remove this bolt off and then put on our new one. All right, like I said, we're gonna use a um, 3 8 wrench, and we're gonna slowly unscrew it, and then we're gonna go ahead and put our new one on it. All right, this is our new one here. That's supposed to be good. make this uh, give its full potential out of the motor. And then here's the stock one that's supposed to govern it a little bit. And you can see this one only has two notches and this one has those four notches like we saw before um, on the outer ring here. So we're gonna see how much of a difference this is gonna be. So we're gonna go ahead and put our bolt back on and we're gonna go ahead and put this back on just like how we took it off. All right, you can see we have our bolt and our magnet on there, and we're gonna wrench it up. All right, you can see now we have it fully tightened up, and now we're gonna go ahead and put our speed sensor back on and bolt that up, and then let's take this up for a spin and see what we can get out of it now. Keep in mind, as you bolt that top bolt and that bottom one is to be, don't tighten them so tight because this is plastic and it will bust. So that's just one thing to keep in mind because it will will crack if you tighten it too hard. All right, once we finished putting the speed sensor back on, we did a uh, final test run and we went from being about 12 to 14 miles per hour to now 15 to 18 miles per hour. So not a huge jump, but it does help some. So I would still recommend this, uh, but just be on the safe side so you don't spend the 15 to 20 dollars for the speed sensor magnet. I would definitely uh, take yours apart, make sure it's not got the four notches on it and then if, uh, if it does, then you're good to go. If not, then I would definitely upgrade. It's a, an easy upgrade, and you can see how quick uh, it, it takes to replace it. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.